everybody. Uh, so here I am. I finished my book. Um, delirium. They say that the cure for love will make me happy and safe forever. I've always believed them until now. Now everything has changed. Now I'd rather be infected with love for the tiniest sliver of a second than a hundred years smothered by a lie. Basically, they've deemed, the U.S. government has de deemed love as a disease, and they, on everyone's 18th birthday, they get a procedure done where they take out, like, that part of your brain that is, you know, that feels love and pain and stuff like that. So they take that out, and then you basically you get matched up with somebody to marry and the government decides how many kids you should have and all that stuff. So, um, this girl, Lena, she's like all excited, super juiced about getting this procedure done because her mom committed suicide because this procedure didn't work for her and she was, she still felt love and stuff like that. So she killed herself. And so she's like, I don't want anything to do with love. No, down with love, boo. I want the procedure done, I'm so excited, blah, blah, blah. So then she meets this boy, Alex, and she falls in love with him, and yeah. So that's basically the story. Um, I thought it was a little bit slow getting started. Like, I was, I kind of puttered along with this one. It took me five days to read, which is huge for me. Usually I read it in like, read a book in like two days, but um, it was kind of slow going. But I liked her, I liked Lena's friend, Hannah. She was awesome. She was like the first one to discover like the underground music scene. So it was like kind of punk rock in a way. So I really liked Hannah because she was like, you gotta come hear this, this music and blah, blah. And there's like boys there and stuff like that. And Lena was like really hesitant, like, what are you doing? you're going to get the disease and you're going to get infected and blah, blah, blah. And she was just like, in the beginning of the story, like Hannah was like, you're chicken basically. And uh, so I really liked, overall, I liked all the characters. The characters were really well developed and I definitely felt for them. But, um, and I really liked the, um, the memories that Lena had of her mom. Um, she told stories about like how her mom used to dance around and she was really fun and like she was the only mom on the block that like when the kids hurt themselves she would like run to their side and pick them up and like kiss their their owies and things like that you know things moms are supposed to do and that was like wrong in this society it was like you know taboo and that's just those were things that people didn't do because they didn't have that feeling for their children that, you know, we have to where they, you know, would run to their side. And it was just overall, like, it was really sad the way that people were just like, you know, couples would walk down the street and they wouldn't look at each other or hold hands or anything. And it was just really sad to think about. And not just like the romantic view of love or the parental view of love. Like, there are things described in there like, these raids where people came in and they would like search your house and like beat you up and they like killed this dog and the dog owner didn't even care they were just like eh, whatever and it was just like really sad to think about like if you don't have if you don't feel for people you're not even feeling like people like you're not even feeling for your fellow neighbor you don't you just don't care about anything so um it was just kind of sad and uh the ending, I'm not going to give anything away, don't worry, but I don't know, it, it wasn't, it wasn't a predictable ending, but I don't know. I'm excited to read the rest of the series because I'm not really feeling the way that it's going thus far. Um, the whole story wasn't predictable, I mean, the way that Hannah turned out, I was a little bit disappointed, but I could I understood why she turned out to be the way that she did. Um, I just, I was kind of hoping for something else for Hannah. But you have to read the book to find out what I'm talking about. And um, 
because I don't want to give anything away if you want to read the book. And if you're watching this video, you probably do. Or did. Um, and if you did, I want to hear in the comments below what you thought. And um, because this book has been getting amazing reviews. But uh, I didn't, I, I didn't, again, with the, like the last book I read, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. Um, Comparison-wise, I thought Matched was a lot better. But um, I'm more excited. I'm more excited for the second book in the Matched series more than I'm excited for the second in the Delirium series, which I think, if I read correctly, that it is not due out until February 2012. So I got a long wait. Maybe I'll read it again and try to find other things that I like about it. But um, yeah, that's um, basically my thoughts. And if you read this book, I would love to hear what you think in the comments below. And um, next book I'm going to read is probably going to be 13 Reasons Why. So look forward to that, and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.